So, four days surviving out there in nature. Let me tell you a little bit about the logistics of it. We're gonna drive on this road that somewhat parallels the river, and then we're gonna stop the car and drop this bike there. We're gonna hide it in the bushes. We're gonna go back to the car, continue driving up north, and then we're gonna drop this SUP. It's a stand-up paddle board. We're gonna hide it in the bushes as well. Come back to the car, continue to drive north, and then, we're gonna park, of course, and then the adventure begins. We're gonna do a trail running or fast packing, if you will, for a day and a half, 16 miles. We're gonna run down to where I hid the SUP. We're gonna pump it up, pedal for about a day to the place where I left the bike. With the bike, I will bike up to where I left the car. The end. I plan to fish, I plan to hunt for these four days, but can I make it? four days out there. Okay, I just caught a small mouth bass, but this one is too small and I'm gonna let it go. That's dinner today, no more fish. But first I have to clean this guy, but don't worry. I'm not gonna show you the gross parts. Ready? Let's go. I think we're getting way too lazy. You know, humans, we used to do this a long time ago. Move through the landscape and sourcing our own food. But now we have these big homes with AC, Netflix, and a fridge stuffed with food that most of us don't know where it comes from. So this was my way to challenge myself. Four days, leisure time. Yes, I killed a bunny. Yes, I killed a bunch of fish. But the truth is, people feel bad for those animals but they don't think twice about ordering that bacon cheeseburger.
very tired. Tá com sede, Hilo? You thirsty? Come on, man. You gotta work on your stamina, boy. Hey, dog, what's your name? It's Hilo White. I kill Hilo. Kill, baby. Kill, kill. No. 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 Hey. Sleeping bag is very thin. So I was actually cold overnight. I think it got down to maybe high 40s. Now I looked over and Hilo, Hilo wasn't very happy. I know Hilo can take much colder temperatures because when we adopted him, they said he's part husky, hence the blue eye. But I had an idea. It's a node, hey, it's a node technique. I got some rocks from the fire and I dug a hole still a little warm. Dig a hole in here, cover it back with dirt, and Hilo slept on top of it. Now for me, I did the same. I got some of the smaller rocks, still a little warm, nice. Put in a sock, and then you put it in your sleeping bag. Sleeping bag becomes very cozy after that. But be very careful, do not use river rocks. River rocks may contain water inside, and as they heat up, as they, the water actually boils inside, they, the gases try to escape, and they, boom, the rock may explode. Now, usually they just split in half, but there are cases where they have exploded, and uh, they would send shards of rock everywhere. You wouldn't want that inside your sleeping bag, an exploding rock. It wouldn't be fun. Hello. Breakfast time. Tea, 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 tea. Breakfast time. Breakfast. miles to go now there are people who will be watching this video and they will say but Tiago you ate all those poor animals I say yeah and I would like to echo the words of Edward Abbey he would say something like go ahead fish the rivers hunt the fields climb that mountain do it while it's still there while we are still here see you next time <laughs> <laughs>